So today we are sitting down with Kelly Davies from Landra Realty. Year to date, Kelly ranks number one both buy side units and volume sold in Outagamie County. To put that into perspective, her team has helped 39 buyers and 27 sellers within the last 12 months. Kelly has built her business and legacy on providing top of the line customer service experience for her clients. Today we're going to learn how Kelly has been able to scale her unique customer experience by forming her very own real estate team. So you go from someone who was afraid to work commissions, uh -huh. almost, right? Yeah, terrified. Terrified to work mm -hmm. commissions, um, uh, to now you're the leader of this six-person team? Yeah. Six-person team. Mm -hmm. uh, can you tell us a little bit about what your team looks like now? So I started a team realistically because I needed, I needed help, to yeah. be honest. I got to that point, I was lucky enough and had worked hard enough that I needed the help. And I also wanted to help other people grow. My idea has never been to have you know, a mega team necessarily. Sure. Um, but I do have two buyer's agents. Okay. So I've got two buyer's agents that just get, you know, a lot of lead generation, obviously, through myself. And then I've got three assistants. Um, they are fully licensed, so they help me with everything from the daily transactions, mm -hmm. um, all of the paperwork, talking to clients, et cetera, making sure that they're getting great service, okay. to going out and showing houses for me. Okay. Um, because I'm still very much, very much in production. Yeah. So, you know, instead of um, me giving everything away at this point, I'm a little bit of a control freak. <laughs> um, I, you know, still take a lot of yeah. that on. Uh, but what we really impress upon our clients is I can't always be in five places at once. Mm -hmm. And with the way the housing market is, it's really important that we get, you know, get you in to see these homes as quickly as possible. Because yeah, it's best for them, right? And Absolutely. Customer service. And that's what we're trying yeah. to do. Exactly. Okay. So I'm always available i'm always in the background but sometimes you're going to get one of my other um, assistants for showing sure and they get to know a couple of us throughout the transaction yeah. you know we're not huge but they get to know a few of us and it's it's been working really really well awesome mm -hmm. awesome so tell me about uh, let's go back to that first hire that you made sure was that was that an assistant is that yes. what you said? okay so your yes. first hire was an assistant mm -hmm. Can you try it? So like, um, let's say somebody's watching this is like, you know what, I really need to hire somebody. I, I sure. have too much business. Some things are falling through the cracks. Can you, can you take us back to that time when you made that first hire? Sure. Yes. It was scary. It was scary to make <laughs> it the first time, wasn't it? Yes. Yeah. It was. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like legitimate business here. Yes. You yeah. know? And um, one of the things that, you know, my broker, Brandon, taught me early on was if you treat this like a business, you will have long-term success. Yep. You know, if you treat it like a, a job or even a part-time job, you're going to have, that's going to be your level of, sure. of success. And you have to be investing in your business, yeah. you know? And so I kept reminding myself of that, but it was scary because I'm like, okay, now this much of my income is always, yeah. and not only that, but I take it very seriously that yeah. I'm now responsible for somebody else's livelihood to an extent yep. you know somebody else that left a different position potentially to come here and be with me so i really had to look at that and make sure that i was ready for ready. that it was a big sum it was mm -hmm. uh, but i made sure that you know my numbers were there that i was obviously doing enough sales to warrant yeah. this yeah. and that you have to also look at it as you know the return on the investment and mm -hmm. that was big for me like okay if i'm doing this how many more deals am i going to be able to do how much better, you know, am I going to be able to be for my clients, therefore I'm going to actually make more money as a result of that. Yeah, that's a very that's a very great perspective mm -hmm. that a lot of times I think that we don't look at mm -hmm. when we make those hires as we right. say, we look at it like um, we're making, let's say we're making $100,000 and we have to hire someone right. for 30, we go, right. oh now I'm going to lose 30. Uh -huh. And what I think I just heard you say is that you actually made 20. Correct. Like when you make those right hires, it, yes. it, 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 your business has to go off. Yes. Yeah. And the key is, is the right hires. The right hires. The key is the right hires. There we go. Yes. Yeah. And I really, really hire um, for personality. Okay. I hire for personality and attitude. Yeah. And I feel like, you know, obviously skill set is very important as well, but a lot of that can be taught. trained yeah. and taught and learned. So that was important to me to have people that were 
similar in personality okay. so that clients didn't feel a disconnect between myself and There's a certain the culture on your team mm -hmm. and how you guys operate and who you're in business with. Yes. Okay, so what advice would you give someone if they had, um, let's say they made that first hire. Sure. And it's not, um, it's not where they're getting a return on that investment sure. and that um, maybe they feel as though they messed that up. So I'm a big believer and I'll give everybody, you know, a sit down and let's chat and let's talk about, you know, where you feel your strengths are and where I feel your strengths are and where maybe there's some, there's some gaps in okay. there. Um, but after that, I think if it's just not working, you have to move on. Okay. You know, you just, you have to, because at the end of the day, it's your business, yeah. you know, and I've learned, and this has been very hard for me, um, to just be very direct. I feel like I'm very kind, but I'm very, you know, I'm firm and I'm direct and yeah. I say what I want and yeah. what I expect. And therefore the expectations are set, okay. you know? Okay. Um, and so there's, there can never be that well, you didn't tell me that you wanted this or sure. you didn't tell me to do this. And so I think learning that, because I have had to make changes yeah. and things over the years. Yeah. Most, most people at your, lot. yeah, a lot of people at your level, you have to, when you start, yes. when you start producing a lot, that you just either, it, it's just an imperfect, we just, you have to, right. you have to make those changes. Yes. Okay, so if I could recap, what you're saying is you would, um, uh, sit them down first when you know it's not going as well as, as you had hoped to right. say here let's go over the standards and expectations with mm -hmm. kindness and grace absolutely and then you kind of leave it up to them whether they rise to that or they Correct. don't and if they don't you make a change yes quickly yes so, okay yes gotcha mm -hmm. awesome that's very good thank you um, so what is I guess one of the biggest things you've learned with running a team oh my goodness <laughs> <laughs> Try the biggest, so the uh, most uh, impact. Uh, okay, well, you know, my degree, I have a business degree, it's a, with an emphasis in organizational leadership. Okay. Right? Okay. So you would think that I would be just ready to go, um, <laughs> sure. but you learn something all um, yeah. the time. Yep. Um, I read something the other day that is uh, some sort of a quote that said, if you're expecting everybody to be you, you're going to be very let down. Mm -hmm. And I think that is so true. You know, we can't, we have to constantly be looking at, okay, even if you have the right people in place and they have the right personalities and all of that, everybody's coming from a little bit of a different place, a little bit of a different background, mm -hmm. you know, different um, expectations of what they're looking for in the position, things right. like that, right? And so, you really have to constantly kind of come from a place of how can I help you grow? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Not just, you know, what can I do or what can you do for me, right. Right? right? How can I help you grow? And so that I think has been really important to me is just remembering that this isn't all about me uh -huh. and just, you know, where do I get? Yeah. Where do I go from here? Yeah. Of course, that's important, not gonna lie, yeah. but it's also important that, you know, the people on my team feel like there's further opportunities and there's growth and there's development and there's rewards and recognition and all of those things. And that's really important to me. I try very hard to, you know, we do like um, a team member of the month, a rock star of the month kind of thing. Great. And I give away a little reward for that every month and recognize them on Facebook and all of that. So just things like that, that I think really, you know, let them know that this is a team. This isn't just about me, because yeah. it's, it's not. Right, right. You're there holding everything together, yes. but then you're still developing your people in terms of in investments in yes. them and, and things that you um, right. that they, they, they have opportunity with you. Right, I don't want them to feel like, okay, I came to work here and this was just a job. I yes. want this to be, you know, we were part of something yeah. and we grew this into something even bigger. That's great, that's great. Um, let's go like just business-wise, like sure. best, best business advice. Best business advice? I would say, I mean, I really try to always operate from a place of just honesty, mm -hmm. kindness. Mm -hmm. um, I try not to, and I'm not saying I'm not perfect at this, but lead from emotions, you know, and really try to think with a business mindset. Um, again, be fair, be kind. Uh -huh. um, but you know, it'd be thoughtful. Think about things. Think about what you're going to say and what you're going, how you're going to, you know, portray yourself before you just do it. Sure, right? sure. Especially in a position like we're in. Mm -hmm. I mean, it. We're kind of in the public eye mm -hmm. a little bit, yeah. and um, so I've, I'm very careful about you know how I 
uh, express myself. Sure. I try to be, you know, careful about that. Not calculated or anything like that, but just, you know, thoughtful of what I'm going to say and how yeah. I'm going to say it and, you know, to my team and to my clients and the public. Yeah, great advice. So you, so um, you said something interesting in terms of leading with your emotion, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes you you go, okay, I need to maybe even park the emotion at this point, yes. and let's talk logics, let's talk business, let's talk maybe right. numbers, right? And go, um, this is maybe how I feel right now, right? Um, but this is, but uh, but here's the actual what business wise needs to happen. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Great. And that can be challenging. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm a female. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> but <laughs> sure. we tend, you know, I'm not, I'm not trying to group us all, but hey, let's be out. We tend to, you know, sometimes think a little too much with our hearts and, yeah. you know, and, and there can be that. It can be very stressful. I mean, Absolutely. what we're doing is the biggest purchase in most people's yeah. lives, yeah. you know, and we need to kind of take some of that emotion out of it. Be empathetic, of course, mm -hmm. but not get, you know, so charged up about things and just really keep a level head and figure things out and get get yeah. to where we're trying to go because at the end of the day I think we all have the same goal right. you know we're all trying to help buyers and sellers um, buy and sell right. right and sometimes there's a and oftentimes there's some roadblocks along that way right but we can figure it out absolutely absolutely well um, let's go to customer service sure. Let me, give me an example of the customer service expectation you have with you and your team? I expect world-class customer service. I really do. And that's something that I stress sure. from day one. Yeah. I mean, if you're going to be on my team, that's what we're doing for everybody. Okay. You've got to be ready to roll out the red carpet for people. Um, I just, I really, 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 that's just so important to me. Okay. You know, and I think that's where I see so much repeat business and referral business mm -hmm. is because somebody feels like they had a really good experience. They feel like they were the only person that we were working with, mm -hmm. even though there was you know, 30 plus at the same time. Right. Um, and that's just really important to me. Yeah. I never want anybody to feel like they're a number. Yeah. I say that in a lot of my advertisements, yeah. and it's true. I want people to feel, again, it's the biggest purchase most people are gonna make. Yeah. And it's easy for us sometimes, my husband has to remind me even like, I could do, I could write offers in my sleep at this point, yeah. right? Um, but other people coming in, sometimes they come into my office and they look like they've seen a ghost, yeah. you know? And I'm like, what's wrong? Yeah, and what's like, going on? Oh my God, we're just so nervous. Yeah. We've never done this before, yeah. you know? And I have to stop and think, that's true, yeah. right? Yeah. Because it's so easy for me to just go right into, <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah. here we go, we're let's done. do yes. this. No big deal, we do it all the time. Yes. And so that's huge, just taking that step back. I still, one of my very favorite things is working with first time home buyers. Yeah. I love it. They're so receptive. Yeah. They want to learn. You know, they want, they, they don't know what they're doing. Yeah. And it's just a great feeling to be able to come from a place of help and, and just honesty and passion about what we're doing. Yeah and take them through the whole process. Yeah, helping them. Yeah. That's one thing that I've just noticed with just doing some of these interviews is that the, the people that are sitting in these chairs, they all have a really common theme of wanting to help people. Yes. And you, you obviously have that yes. very much. Um, uh, and I think that leads to the utmost sales uh, success. Mm -hmm. you, you never really sold anything a day in your life. You, it's true. You help. The it's byproduct. very true. The byproduct of yes. helping is, yes. is, is the sales. But, yes. um, it's I always say, honestly, I'm not a very good salesperson. Right. Right. I'm just good with, you know, working with people. I, yeah. I understand how to, you know, adapt to different situations and different personalities. Yeah. And I can empathize and understand that we, again, we all come from different places, yeah. you know, and um, we don't all have to be the same, but we can all be kind and treat each other with respect and right. you know so that's absolutely. gotten me absolutely to where I am is there anything that you have that um, you're like this is you know another key to, to my success or things that we do really well or is there anything that you that you do that you go you know what that that kind of makes us who we are I will tell you early on I remember making the comment that I noticed that most of the big realtors out there the, the successful people were doing a ton of advertising, mm -hmm. meaning they were putting a lot of money into their business. Mm -hmm. Again, that investment into the business. Mm -hmm. And at first, obviously, I didn't have a, 
a budget really at all. Mm -hmm. You know, I was just hoping for you know a sale and <laughs> yeah. make a little commission yeah. check, right? Yeah. Um, but that's been very um, crucial and foremost in my business over the years is I've taken a lot of what I've earned and put it back. Investing not only in having a team, mm -hmm. which obviously has helped us to grow and improved our customer service and all of that, but also um, things like Facebook advertising mm -hmm. and Instagram advertising and, um, you know, Zillow and Truly and all those websites and just really being present everywhere because what I've noticed is, you know, if I were new in town, I would most likely work with the person that I was seeing everywhere. Yeah. If I didn't know another realtor. Right. 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 And so that's kind of been my thing is yeah. how, where can I put my dollars yeah. that they're going to be the most effective yep. and I'm going to get my name and my face out as much as I don't want to have my face everywhere. Most important you have for business. To. Yeah, you have that's to. very important for business. So, so um, uh, you keep books? Do you keep personal financial statements of yes. some sort? Do you keep like a, um, yes. a tally of how you're doing and then you reinvest the stuff at the end of the Absolutely. month? Absolutely. Okay. Yes. I have okay. spreadsheets. I'm very organized in that yeah. way. Good. Um, finally, a couple of years ago, I was like, okay, I really need to get an accountant. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I went from, be, I'll do my own taxes every year to like, oh, okay, I can't do that anymore. <laughs> sure, sure. Can't do that anymore. Right. All right. So let me ask you this question. Mm -hmm. If you're speaking to someone who's passionate about customer service, just like you are, um, but is afraid of hiring other agents or building a team because mm -hmm. because no one does it the way that you do it. Sure. Right. Um, what would you tell that person of like helping them with that fear or getting over sure. that fear? Oh, feel the fear and do it anyway. Right. Sure. I remind myself of that almost daily. Okay. I mean, I still go to bed at night and I think that's part of what drives us though. Sure. Right. I still go to bed at night sometimes and I'm like, Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Am I going to be able to pay everybody? Can I do, can I, you know, because yeah. I take all of that very, very seriously. Yeah. Um, that part has never gone away for me, and I don't know that it ever will. Right. You know, so first of all, know that you're not alone. <laughs> There's always going to be some level of, I think, fear or anticipation, anxiety of, okay, am I doing everything right? right. Do I have, you know, but I think you just, you have to, you have to feel it and you have to work through it. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't, you're not gonna grow. You're always gonna stay right where you are. Yeah. You know, you can only do, and I finally got to that place, because trust me, I am a control freak. Yeah. And not in a controlling of others way, just a, I want everything, I like everything done my way, yeah. right? The problem with that is, is that I can do maybe 80 or 90 deals a year yeah. on my own. Yeah. I was for a while yeah. and I was drowning. Yeah. I was drowning. I, I never saw my kids, yeah. you know, yeah. and my husband. I just, it was ridiculous. Yeah. And so it got to the point where I was like, okay, I either scale back yeah. and I'm just going to do, you know, 30 or 40 deals a year yeah. on my own. Yeah. And that's, what, that's where I'm going to be. Yeah. Or I'm going to grow. Sure. And in order to grow, I needed to have other people. Yeah. I can't do that on my own. So let me ask you this. When you, because um, uh, you do things a certain way, mm -hmm. there's a certain thing that makes your business special sure. versus other um, other businesses. You know, I, I sometimes we talk about it. Like if you go to McDonald's and buy a cheeseburger sure. and you go to a different McDonald's and buy a cheeseburger, it's the same cheeseburger. Yeah. Right? Like how do you how do you keep your standards, um, the way you do things? Like, what, like I, um, is there a system of process that you follow sure. to make sure people get the level of service that you that you give. Sure. Well, I think a lot of it is just keeping your team very close. Okay. Right? So obviously we don't see each other all the time. Mm -hmm. We're out doing our own things, but we come together weekly. We have weekly team meetings. Um, we have calls, things like that. I'm constantly reminding. Okay. Not that they're forgetting, right. but just so that they remember that that's at the forefront of everything we're doing. Right. Our customers, our client, they're at the forefront of what we're doing. Yeah. So that's just always something Something that I'm constantly, you know, impressing. So you are um, uh, coaching and training essentially I, I with, with, when, yes. with those phone calls and with those team meetings. Yes. Like you're, like you're, um, uh, you're educating them on the way that you do business and yes. the way that the organization operates. Right. Okay. Because I don't want, again, I don't want this to be a, I'm the boss mm -hmm. right. and you're my employee. Right. I don't look at it like that. Right. I look at it as I want to be a good leader and mm -hmm. how can I add value to your lives? Right. You know? Right. So that's what I'm trying to do. And it sounds like you've learned a lot from your team too. I have. Yeah, Absolutely. Right I learn things all the time. Yeah. And 
And in having a team, I've learned so much about myself sure. and how I, again, conduct myself yeah. and the best ways to do that. Right. So it's, Very it's a process. Very good. I bet. <laughs> I bet. Well, Kelly, thanks for joining us today. Thank um, you. We love Thank hearing, you for we having love hearing me. about people who are passionate about real estate, passionate about customer service. Yes. Um, thanks again for taking your time and willing to oh share. Gosh, like we, we, we appreciate that very much. Of course. So. Thank you. Thank you for your time today. Of course. Thanks. Thank you. Done. <laughs> Cut. Cut. <laughs>